Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we're going to show you how to watch movies on your Oculus Go that you may have purchased on other platforms such as iTunes, uh, supports Prime Video, Vudu, Xfinity, Google Play, Microsoft Movies and TV, and Fandango Now. I'm actually looking at it right here. And the service that you can kind of connect everything together with is called Movies Anywhere. And it's pretty awesome. And the way that it works is you're going to want to go to moviesanywhere.com. I will provide a link down below and set up an account. And then from there, in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna click your little icon, the menu icon, and connect retailers. And from there, you're just gonna sign in to all of your other accounts, whether or not it's Amazon Prime, whatever, and go ahead and connect them. Now, I have found that for iTunes, you are best off using an actual iPad download the Movies Anywhere app onto it and then give it permission to connect to your iTunes account. Much easier to do it on the app than on the PC. I could not get it to work on the PC and their help section says, if you can't get it to work on the PC, you should just try it on the iPad. So that's what I did and it works great. So any movies that you purchase now, not rentals, but purchased movies and not things that you can play on demand that might be supported with ads, but just regular old purchased movies will now show up You've got to make sure that you connect Google Play and then whatever else, but Google Play is key, and then iTunes. Then you can open up the Google or the YouTube VR app on your Oculus Go here. Just click account in the top right hand when you're in the VR app, and then purchases right there. All of your movies are going to show up and it works just like magic and it's amazing. And if you've got a really large movie collection uh, and you don't want to just scroll through because there's no real way to sort, just use the voice search and search for the movie that you know that you've already purchased and bam, it'll show up like that. It's super, super simple. You can have everything set up in just a few minutes. It works really, really well. I'm actually kind of a fan of the YouTube VR player. I like that you can just drag the screen wherever, slide your finger back and forth across the trackpad to make the screen larger or smaller, and they've got the curved screen, which is cool as well. So it's a great way to enjoy the content that you have purchased on iTunes or elsewhere on your Oculus Go. So that's it, quick, short, sweet. If you guys have questions, let me know down below. If this has helped you out, please, thumbs up as always, that really does help. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button if you're into this sort of stuff. I post these videos fairly frequently. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.